home here in Michigan, I have a bolster with a quote by Albert Einstein. It says that if you judge a fish by its ability to climb a tree, it will live its whole life believing that it's too. <laughs> and for too many years, the automotive industry operated, operated like some kind of men's club with a commonly understood yet never uttered view that somehow women were incapable of keeping up with the automotive environment. It was simply fish and not climb trees. And it became a self-fulfilling prophecy as many of the best and brightest women naturally turned elsewhere for their career opportunities. It was a classic lose-lose paradigm. And the industry failed to attract all the talent that it needed and women missed out on the opportunity to contribute to a sector that is one of the world's key drivers of economic and technological advancement. An enterprise that lacks input from both genders is basically looking at the world with only one eye. And some men, hopefully only a few, might find us strange, but we all know it takes two eyes to provide depth, perception, and a wider field of vision. Now, I'm not here to show you data and statistics about the state of women in managerial and executive roles or about the progress that has been achieved to date in breaking the glass ceiling and the necessity to unlock even more of the potential of women in the marketplace. I'm sure that you've seen these kind of statistics hundreds of times and you're not totally nauseated with the data. Today I want to talk to you about a couple of concepts that transcend the issue of women in the workplace, concepts that fundamentally make it a non-issue. Today I want to talk to you about leadership, I want to talk to you about commitment. These are notions that transcend demogra demographic definition, they are enablers, the enablers to transform our aspirations into reality, they are the attributes that matter if we want to change what we don't like of the present and do our part to create a more just and a more equitable society for the future. Leadership and commitment are what say Chrysler, the same Chrysler that one analyst described back in 2009 as the other company that was most likely to be liquidated with three sticks to come in a roll of pennies. And so this morning I'm going to take the unusual route of telling you about Chrysler through the eyes of a journalist guy named Nat Daniel, a Pulitzer-winning writer for the Wall Street Journal. He wrote a piece back in 2010 evaluating what was then our newest product introduction. Which is that right here, I think. The Jeep Ram Cherokee. And I think it was the first time that reference is made, was made to the literary trend of new criticism in an automotive review. Pretty snotty intellectual stuff. <laughs> But it is the Wall Street Journal after all. So anyway, just bear with me for a few minutes. New criticism emphasized the close reading of the text, excluding factors such as the, as the author's biographical details, historical circumstances, and so-called extra-textual materials to arrive at the interpretation. At that time, Neil writes, that was a very good idea since criticism had reached the point where scholars were earnestly speculating about how Shakespeare's bad breath might have influenced Hamlet. And due to new critics, all that mattered was the text. And that brings us to the 2011 Jean Grant Cherokee. And then the article begins a series of questions about the extra textual aspects of our company. He says that we consider the swamp out of which this vehicle emerges. Last year's bankruptcy of Chrysler, the auto bailout, the ignominious handoff from Daimler to Cerberus Management, and not the Fiat. Can we somehow put our minds, current Chrysler's current kennel of Manjimats out of our heads, like some of Chrysler's obsolete models, that if you were to buy them, you'd have to be an automotive pervert. Or a direct gerontophile. <laughs> Is it possible for consumers to look just at a Jeep Grand Cherokee, the text of the thing, and forget the Italian managed goat rodeo going on in the background? <laughs> what I don't know is Neil's response, but if they do, I think they like what they see. And the piece closes with another question. But will people give it a chance? Perhaps. But a phony Chrysler can change the conversation and fast. Repeat after me, Chrysler. 2009 never happened. It's all about the tech. 
Christ.